So in this in this session, I am going to show you how to execute the line item report we created. To execute the line item report, have di zero. So now you can see the report is this is our line item report. So to execute, click on execute. So here you can see the customer selection. You can see from and to. And open item key date, yes, I, I give 31st all 2010. And company code 3000. And customer, I leave it blank. So now I click on execute. So you can see here. The system is selecting these many line items data for our report. So this data is for entire 2010. So now you can see this data is first quarter is zero, second quarter is this is the values, third quarter is this the values. So this is for the total values. So for example, you want to see by customer. So you click on the customer, click on the customer then the color is changed the icons also changing so if you select this all this formatting is going off and now you can see how the system is showing here this was highlighted and this was highlighted so after you select the customer click on the overview button here so now the system is showing this is the data for this customers so this is only for the 2010 data so it is not showing the data for prior years this is only the current year data for 2010 for all the periods and this is only a open items as at the date of 31st December 2010 so now if you see here you can go to the individual line items of this customer to see the balances you click here and then go to the extras and then line items i think we need to select this entire element and click align it So here you can see all the line items for that customer. So go back. So here I will go to the customer balances to show you 3277 FBL 5N Seven seven two thousand ten. Let's
if you see the data here for 2010, it is showing 2009 and 2010. Since we filtered the physical year, so it is filtering by physical year. So here, you just want to know the only the open items, then you don't need to give any physical year. Then the system will show the data. But in our case, we filtering the physical year in the input parameters. So the 2010, if you see this data is actually okay. So filter here by nine okay. yes I, I just filter here to show you again how the system will show the data for you yeah if you see here the line items on the open item key date 31st December 2010 you have for 2009 and also 2010 but when you when you click on the detail list line item by selecting here this is not considering the input parameters what you set for this report by right it should consider but I'm not sure on, on, on this part so here you can see this is a 19,649.19 so here you can see the third quarter and fourth quarter so you can see this will be under your third quarter and this will be under your fourth quarter so if you summarize the data for this customer this is how the system is showing the figures is 10,000 here and 17,000 uh, 17, seventeen thousand one eighty for these two and this one. so now I just want to go by period I just want to see by business area then you need to select the business area and click here so now you can see what are all the business areas posted and you want to check by accounting clerk you see the color is changing and you can click on the business area you select the accounting clerk click on the business area select the document type click on the accounting clerk here so now the system will show the data by document type what document types how the data is posted so these are the document types posted for this likewise you can create and different dimensional reports for your requirements.